Magandang magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Nadito tayong muli upang ipagpatuloy ang ating grade 8 math journey. Huwag na tayong magpaligoy-ligoy pa. Let's proceed to the first week's lesson, which is factoring polynomials. Naalala nyo dun sa last video, what we did is we tried to multiply polynomials. Kaya naman, meron tayong mga given na tulad nito, dalawang binomials, tapos ginamit natin yung FOIL method, and we came up with answers like this one. Pero ngayon, baliktad, yung sagot natin dati, yun na ang magiging given. Okay, so this time, what we need to do is to find the factors. Ganto yan. First, let's write two parentheses. Diyan natin ilalagay yung ating factors. Then, tignan natin yung first term, x squared. O, diba? Parang foil lang din, pabaliktad. Yung first term, ano yung factors ng first term? We have x and x because x times x is x squared. Okay? Tapos, tingnan natin yung last term. Neg uh, negative 4, yes. So, ano ba ang factors ng 4? Ang factors ng 4 ay 1 times 4, saka 2 times 2. Bago tayo mag-decide, we need to consider the middle term, yung 3x. So, dapat kapag kinumbay natin yung factors, lalabas yung positive 3. Okay, so hindi na natin pwedeng i-consider yung 2 times 2. But, instead, we could use 1 and 4. Bakit? Because 1 times 4 is 4. And, 4 minus 1 will give us 3. Yung middle term natin. Okay. So, ngayon, kailangan na lang natin yung proper sign. Pero bago yan, tandaan lang kasi na yung middle term ay galing yan sa combination ng ating outer terms and inner terms. ba Yung foil, yung O and I, kapag pinagsama, lalabas yung ating middle term. Okay. Sabi natin, 4 minus 1 yung kailangan natin para lumabas yung 3. Kaya, negative si 1, positive si 4. Check natin, ha? So, one, negative 1 times x will be negative x. x times 4 would be 4x. Pag kinumbay natin siya, 4x minus x will give us positive 3x. O, diba? Napalabas natin yung middle term. And of course, foil yung last term. Tingnan natin kung lalabas yung negative 4. Negative 1 times 4, tama, negative 4. Yan. So, ganun lamang siya ang factoring. Kabaligtaran siya nung ginagawa natin nung nakaraan. Let's have another example. Actually, this is exact, almost the same nung nakaraang uh, given. Pero, meron pa tayong isang step na gagawin. Mas saan mabuti? Meron pang common sa kanila? O yung tinatawag natin common monomial factor? Yung x, hindi pwede. Kasi yung first term may x, yung second term may x, pero yung last term, wala siyang x. Kailangan common sa lahat ng terms. So, how about yung numerical coefficient? Meron bang common sa kanila? Hmm, lahat sila even. So, lahat sila pwedeng i-divide sa 2. Tama. Pero, kailangan natin mako yung pinakamalaking number na pwedeng i-divide sa kanilang tatlo. So, 2, pwede, pero hindi pa siya yung pinakamalaking number na pwede. So, let's consider 4. Diba? Pwede natin i-divide lahat ng terms sa 4. Okay, let's do that. 4x squared divided by 4 will give us x squared. 12x divided by 4 will give us 3x. And negative 16 divided by 4 will give us negative 4. Ayan! So, yung 4, finactor out na natin. Kasama na siya sa factors. Pero, hindi tayo titigil dyan. Kasi, pwede pa natin i-factor yung x squared plus 3x minus 4. O, ba Familiar siya. Yan din yung given kanina. So, gawin lang natin yung steps kanina. Ayan! 
So as you could see, ang factors natin ay 4, x minus 1, at x plus 4. Okay? How about this one? Naku, ma'am, ano yan? May exponent na 3. <laughs> okay. First, check nyo muna kung siya ay perfect cube. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng perfect cube? Okay, lagay ko muna yung mga parentheses natin. Pag perfect cube, ibig sabihin, merong number na pag multiply natin sa sarili niya ng tatlong beses, will give us that number. Okay, so yung V cube, tatlong V lang siya, di ba? V times V times V. Okay? How about yung 27? 27, ang cube root niya is 3. Kasi 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So, perfect cube din siya. So, yun. Positive 3. Okay? So, anong ginawa natin? Ang ginawa natin, kinuha natin yung cube root ng first term, which is V. Then, kinuha natin yung cube root ng second term, which is positive 3. Okay, pag nakuha na natin yun, isang tabi muna natin yung given. Let us focus on V plus 3. Let us square the first term, V squared. Tapos, kunin natin yung product ng first and second term. So, V times 3, that's 3V. Pero, kukunin natin yung opposite sign niya. So, kung positive siya, magiging negative. Okay? Again, yung product ng first and second term. And then, we will use the opposite sign. So, naging negative. Okay? And then, for last, let us square the last term, yung 3. So, 3 times 3 is positive 9. Yan na siya. Yan ang ating factor. Factors, sorry. Factors ng VQ plus 27. Yan. Okay, ma, paano po pag same given, pero iba yung sign? Ganun din. This time, ang magkakaiba yung negative 27. Ano ang cube root ng negative 27? Hindi siya positive 3. It should be negative 3. Tignan natin, ha? Negative 3 times negative 3 Positive 9. Positive 9 times negative 3 will give us negative 27. So, ang cube root ng negative 27 is negative 3. Iba yung sign. So, ganun din ang gagawin natin sa second part. Cube, the first term. Product of the first and the last term. Pero, opposite sign. So, this time, magiging positive siya. Positive 3. And then, square the last term. Negative 3 times negative 3 will give us positive 9. That's it. Okay, so this, sa case na to, it's more on, if we follow lang natin yung steps. Diba? Yan. How about this case naman? Ma, bakit ganyan? Naka-equal sign siya. Paano naman yun if factor? Okay, naalala nyo yung sabi natin, pagsamasamahin natin lahat sa left side, lahat ng ating may variables. Okay? From then, from there, pwede na tayong mag-factor. Check muna natin, ang unang step din na natin, meron bang common sa kanila? Ha, huh, this time common ang x, kasi pareho yung dalawang term, two terms, meron silang x pareho. So, pwede natin ilabas si x. How about sa numerical coefficient? Pareho natin silang pwedeng i-divide kay 9. Okay? So, we can, we could uh, take out 9x, factor out 9x. So, ano yung matitira? 9x squared divided by 9x will give us x. Negative 27x divided by 9x is negative 3. Ayan na po. Ayan na yung ating factors. Pero, pag kinailangan natin isolve si x, pwede pa natin itong i-continue. Equate lang natin siya, both the factors, by 0. So, 9x, yung isang factor, equals 0. 
Ang isa pang factor, x minus 3 equals 0. So, solve lang natin siya. So, we'll have x equals 0 and the other value is x equals 3. Okay. Paano naman kung ang given ay word problem? So, kailangan muna nating i-analyze yung problem bago tayo makapag-proceed. So, ang sabi, the sum of a number and its square is 156. Find the numbers. Sum. When we talk about sum, addition. Okay, so addition. Sum of a number. Hindi natin alam yung number. So, let us assign a variable. Any variable. Kung gusto mo x, y, d, ayan. Kinamit ko for this time is n. Okay. The sum of a number and, so ano yung isa pang ipa-plus? Square. So, yung square daw ng number. So, yung number natin is n, di ba? N squared. Let ha? The sum of a number and its square. So, sum, ang operation natin, addition, of a number. A number na hindi natin alam, kaya nag-assign tayo ng variable. Tapos, n, so ano yung i-add natin? Its square. Square daw ng number. So, yung number, squared. Is, yun ang keyword natin. Pag narinig niyo yung is, ibig sabihin nun, equal sign, 156. Okay. So, kailangan natin i-factor siya to solve for n. I-arrange muna natin siya. Okay? So, yan. I-arrange lang natin siya. Inuna natin yung n squared. Si 156, nilipat natin sa left side. So, dahil nilipat natin siya, tumawin siya ng equal sign, naging negative siya. Opposite ng sign. Okay? So, yan. Pwede na tayo ngayon mag-factor. Again, nagsulat tayo ng dalawang parentheses. Diyan natin ilalagay ang ating factors. Factors ng n squared, nn. Factors ng negative 156. Ayan, medyo marami tayong factors. Pero, okay, mamadali na natin, that's 12 and 13. Bakit? Kasi yung 12 and 13 yung factors na pwede makapagbigay sa atin ng positive 1. Saan yung positive 1? Yung ating middle term. Okay? Ayan siya. So, 12 times n and n times 13, di ba? Para makuha natin yung middle term na positive n, kailangan negative si 12n, positive si 13n. Okay? Kasi pagbaliktad, kapag ang positive yung 12, negative yung 13, ang magiging sagot natin, negative n. Di ba? Okay, ayan pala, sorry, na late yung ano, yung list ng factors. So ayan lahat ng factors ng 156. Nilist na natin. Tapos do natin bago tayo nag-decide, ayun, kaya natin na ko yung 12 and 13 kasi kailangan natin mapalabas yung positive 1. 'Di ba? So, yun lang ang possible answer, 12 and 13. Ayan, so again, in order to solve for n, uh, equate natin yung mga factors but to 0. Okay? Then, let's solve. So, n is equal to 12 and n is equal to negative 13. Ayan siya. Pero ano ulit yung tanong? The sum of a number and its square is 156. So, let's check. Kailangan natin malaman yung mismong number. So, sabi, Ang positive, possible answers are n equals 12 and n equals negative 13. Let's check. So, kung 12 yung number, yung sum ng 12, siya ka 12 squared, equal ba siya sa 156? Let's check. 12 plus ang 12 squared ay 144. Tama. Kasi ang sum niya ay 156. How about negative 13? Tama din kaya siya? So, negative 13 plus yung square ng negative 13. Yung square ng negative 13 ay 169. So, 169 minus 13 will also give us 156. So, tama ang values ng n na nakuha natin. So, that's it guys for now. Okay? Please stay tuned ulit para sa mga susunod pang videos. Um, enjoy your first week and 
see you guys. I hope soon mawala na ang COVID-19 at pwede na tayo mag-meet face-to-face para yun, back to normal na tayo. But for now, let us all keep safe and stay at home. Bye-bye!